Like I said, once I get there, I feel like all that's gonna be over. I feel like I'm gonna be the man of the division. I think none of them, like nobody could beat me. I'm sorry to say, like uh, you, you, all them great fighters. I just feel like I'm on a whole different level. Asking who I want to fight next, I say Bichel. Um, it won't be the same kind of fight though. Like, Floyd struggled with Castillo. Oh, the first Luke Castillo fight was close with Floyd. You're saying yours won't be close with Brichel? Nah, it won't be at all. Trust me. Before Lomachenko lost to Lopez, Shakur Stevenson said that would be his toughest fight at 130 or 135. Now he's telling Lomachenko, he warning him, to stay at 135 because if he comes down to 130, he'll get beat worse by him than he got beat by Tiafimo Lopez. We look at the young fighters, Haney, Garcia, Tiafimo Lopez, and also throw Ryan Garcia in there. Ryan Garcia is coming along. He's fighting Luke Campbell. He wants to step up and be great. I always like Shakur Stevenson and Tiafima Lopez the best because these guys are willing to fight the best. Even though I think Javante Davis and Devin Haney are talented, Devin Haney wants to fight Gamboa as Javante Davis already did. And Javante Davis is fighting a featherweight. Stevenson says he's highly motivated to fight the best. There is no surprise that Tiafima and Shakur Stevenson are friends. Shakur Stevenson and Teal envision themselves fighting each other later on in their careers, like at 147. But first things first, Shakur Stevenson wants to take over the 130 pound division. He fights, he wants to fight for the WBO title in 2021. That will be Jamal Herring or Carl Frampton. From there, he wants to take on the winner between Oscar Valdez and Miguel Burchelt. to become a unified champion at 130. He knows from there, Javante Davis is not going to fight him. So he might move up to 135. And that's where Shakur Stevenson thinks he's on another level of the Haney's, the Garcia's, and Davis. But I think they won't be there when he comes there. Davis might be there. But I think Tiafimo Lopez and the Haney will be at 140 about the time he gets to 135. And nobody knows how much time Lomachenko has left. He might fight another year or so and then retire. I think injuries start taking a toll on fighters like Lomachenko and Deontay Wilder at heavyweight. So Stevenson may be the king at lightweight because the time he gets there, Lopez and Haney will be gone. But until that day happens, he warned Lomachenko, stay at 135, don't come to 130 because you'll get more of the same of what Tiafimo gave you. No respect for Lomachenko anymore, huh? After a loss. Shakur Stevenson tell him, don't listen to Bob. You better stay at 135 and get your rematch. You don't want to come down and get this heat at 130. Shakur Stevenson, Definitely one of the young fighters to watch out for. I think he's going to be a great one. And he reminds me more of Floyd than Devin Haney does. Only difference is he's a southpaw. And I like his mindset. I don't want to be like Floyd. I want to be better than Floyd. Plus, he lives a boxing lifestyle. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.